Well, here we are, March 2nd, uh, Saturday, and today we have a couple of different things to do. I uh, wanted to get started on truing up the horizontal stabilizer with the wings. Um, so we're gonna, I think we'll just measure this. We'll put, we'll put something across here. We'll measure that angle on that. We'll check it against that horizontal and adjust that as needed. And I'll show how we do that uh, once we get to it. Something else that we're looking at doing is the service bulletin on the fuel tank. Uh, there's an extra support we have to add in here. We have that kit already, so uh, we might get that done. And if we get all of that done today, which uh, we'll have to see, but if we do, uh, once we get that elevator or the uh, horizontal trued up, then uh, we'll install the elevator. Uh, next after that, we've got flaps and ailerons that we're gonna be getting into most likely and maybe uh, maybe some rigging we'll take a look at that see what we need to do there so here we go oh and we came up on Thursday so here's that and uh, we'll be right back happy leap day it's February 29th Thursday and uh, we're just coming up here just for a short session here, we're going to start looking at this uh, pedo and AOA installation uh, for the uh, hoses. We've got to split this stuff out. Uh, some of it goes to the uh, goes to uh, goes to the AHARS, and uh, the other. Uh, let's see, the uh, pedo goes to the G5. Eventually, we'll have static ports in here. And those static ports uh, will tee off and also go to the AHARS and uh, the G5 as well for static. And before you give me any, any guff for calling that an AHARS, uh, I, I came from uh, working airline flight ops and we always called it the AHARS because that's what it was in the airplanes that I worked with. So that's what I'm going to call it. What, what does everyone else call it? ADHARS, A-D-H-R-S, -A yeah, yeah, and the Dash 8, it was an A-HARS, that's what they had in there. All right, here we go. Okay, done for now, and uh, got this uh, pedo. Got the pedo connected and AOA connected to the uh, AHARS, and um, it seems to work. I turned on the G5 and the, the uh, GDU, and we hooked the air compressor up to it. Man, just nailed that. We we're going like Mach 5. Uh, no, just kidding. We <laughs> didn't do anything like that. Um, but uh, we'll uh, ha probably have, uh, I'll chat with the uh, avionics um, guy when he comes up. Uh, he's going to come up next week. Going to look all this stuff over, make sure everything looks okay, and then we will be applying uh, battery power to it uh, next week at some point, I think. Um, but he's his. Uh, we got, just got to get him on the schedule. So um, yeah, um, 
that's uh, that's all I got for tonight, and we will now return to the Saturday video. And we're back. Um, here's this kit. Uh, this is a fuel tank retention uh, service bulletin kit, and we've got obviously one for each wing. And what happens is we'll end up. This goes up inside the wing and it presses up against the tank uh, to keep it pushed forward and then it all gets riveted and attached to the, uh, riveted to the lower wing skin. Uh, under here, that ends up being about right here inside. So we'll do that, uh, get started on that and see what we get. All right, um, I keep referring to this as a service bolt, and it's actually Rand's uh, titles at an airworthiness directive, um, which I thought that was only for certified airplanes. But anyway, uh, airworthiness directive, we're uh, getting going on this. We've got our parts all cleaned and applied anti-chafe tape to the front and uh, the part that goes against the spar and the part that goes against the tank. Uh, so we've got anti-chafe tape on there. And if you haven't seen the video, if you haven't done this yet, um, check out Eddie Gill's video on that. He's got a really good uh, video. It's This looks like a pretty simple install. Um, you just have to put that in. You, uh, measure, measure and mark holes. We're going to be doing holes um, right here. This is where that where that support goes. So we'll be doing measuring and drilling holes in here, and then those go back in. We'll put those in. We'll use a Sharpie, mark those holes out, and uh, drill those, get those ready to go. Uh, one thing that he did mention, and he shows in his video, is that their tank has actually slid back a little bit. So this support, which faces the, faces the rear, so this is the rear of the, of the wing, and the tank is up here. In their video, their tank overlaps this by probably about that much. And uh, you have to trim that off, he said, to make sure that this is clear of the tank. And our, he, he says in a new installation, you don't have to trim it off, but when we put it in ours, uh, when we fit it up just now, this is just touching the tank. So we're probably gonna take about a quarter inch off the back of this, uh, or I guess off the front of that uh, support. Okay, uh, here's a note on that a bracket that you put in. Um, that bracket that faces the back of the wing, or the, uh, the spar here, that goes against the spar, I found that the instruction says when you put it in, you're supposed to slide it up against the, the flange of this rib. However, when you do that, it hits that little round part, that little protrusion on the, uh, on the rib where the rib is attached to the spar. So we're just putting it in as far as it contacting that spot right there, and that's where we're uh, marking that rear, uh, the rear bracket or rear support.
Okay, got those uh, tank supports put in, and as you saw, uh, you kind of saw how we did that, but just kind of, if you haven't done this yet, um, kind of the key thing is measure these holes out first, drill them, and then put the pieces in there, mark it, you know, I should say you put the aft, the aft piece in there, mark it, pull it out, put the forward piece in there, up against the tank, and the aft piece goes against the spar, so forward against the tank, mark that one, and you saw we took it out, uh, drilled, drilled them out, and uh, cleaned all this up. Clay coated it in on a number 40, and then uh, upsized it to a 1 8 and then finished it with a number 30 reamer. Took it all out, cleaned that, clay coat back in, and riveted it in. Well, before we get started on uh, truing up the elevator, I would say elevator, the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, we do need to finish this second bolt here in the wing mount uh, for the rear spar. Okay, we are leveling up this uh, horizontal stabilizer, and I took a aluminum uh, C channel and put it across. And we checked this on both sides, and both sides is 0, 0.00, and we came back and checked this horizontal, and it's 0, 0.00 on both sides there. So I'm pretty confident that this uh, out of the box doesn't have any adjustment that needs to be made. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, oh, got some weather coming in. It actually wasn't too bad today. It was a little bit, it was kind of cloudy and a little, whoops, oops. <laughs> a little cloudy. I'm hitting the buttons, trying to keep the wind out of us. Uh, anyways, yeah, look at that. A little bit of cloud, a little bit of rain. Not too bad of a day. Weather check part two. It's raining. Like really raining. Which is kind of, oh, there goes the door. It's kind of unusual for uh, March 2nd. Usually we'd be getting a lot of snow. But weather service said we're supposed to have a heavy snow come through, but it's just rain right now. Whoa. See what happens. All right, done for today. And da -da -da, we got the elevator on. Uh, so that is on and uh, everything is, uh, is attached. Uh, the push-pull tube is attached. And as you saw earlier, we did the airworthiness directive on both tanks. We did that installation and we did the second bolt for the wing attach on the aft wing attach. So that's all done. We double checked everything uh, up there and we got everything uh, squared up and level here with the wings. And i um, trying to think if there's anything else I was gonna say about it. Uh, oh, when you get to this point, um, it's much, much easier to put the elevator on with it tipped up like this. So when you tip it up like this, you've got great access to the bolts and the nuts underneath uh, in the hinges. So just a hint for those uh, that haven't got here yet, but um, uh, yeah, there you go. So uh, everybody, thanks for watching the video. Have a good evening and that's it for now.